Trade deadline day today in the NFL. A bunch of moves have been made, and the Vikings were one of those teams trying to replace Kirk Cousins, who is in the top five among fantasy points per game for quarterbacks this season. They go out and they trade for Joshua Dobbs. Kevin O'Connell says he's not going to start this week against Atlanta but maybe down the road. The Vikings have a pretty favorable schedule, and right now they hold the last playoff spot in the NFC. Let's bring in our fantasy expert, Dave Richard. Had a lot of people after Cousins went down kind of uh, holding their breath. Of what's going to happen next? Jordan Addison has exploded. Justin Jefferson's going to come back. What does Dobbs do for the weapons in Minnesota? He, he gives cautious optimism, Chris. Um, we're, we're talking about a quarterback that currently has the second highest off-target rate in the NFL among qualifying quarterbacks. He's got the fourth lowest yards per attempt. But, man, he tries downfield shots, or at least he did in Arizona through the first eight games of their season. He averaged a throw of 15 or more air yards on 23.7% of his attempts. That means one out of every four attempts, basically, went deep downfield. That should be music to the ears of the fantasy managers who have Jordan Addison who are waiting patiently for Justin Jefferson to come back. And the yards per attempt, it's ugly at 5.9, but that should perk up the ears of the fantasy managers who have TJ Hawkinson as well. And think about the tight ends in Arizona. We started out the year with Zach Ertz actually being a tangible asset in fantasy football. And then Trey McBride over the last two games started to come on. Certainly last week, he was outstanding. This is good news for the Vikings, for Jefferson, for Addison, for Hawkinson, and for the fantasy managers who wish to start them. Will they be as good as with Kirk Cousins? I think you've got to downgrade them a step but it's not going to be downgrading them two steps or three steps like it might have been with Jaron Hall long-term or Nick Mullins long-term. So ultimately, it's a very good thing. And Josh Dobbs will be a number two QB rest of the season. All right.